Now let us look into the calculation step to determine the design moment for different types of columns. There are three main types of columns. Short columns, slender brace columns, and slender unbrace column. The design moments of the columns are given in these equations, which can be graphically represented by these diagrams. Now let us look into the diagram one by one. For the short column, the MED will be the maximum of M02 and the M min. Let us set the M min first. The M min is meant for the construction tolerance. It is determined by multiplying the NED with the eccentricity E0. Based on the Euro code, the E0 will be equal to H per 30. The E0 has to be greater than 20 mm. The M mean here represents the case that even there is no moment acting on the columns, there will be a minimum moment generating within the columns due to the inaccuracy of the constructions on site. This represents the nominal moments happening in the columns by nature. Now we look into the M02 here. The M02 here represents the largest of M02 or the M01. If this is greater than this, M02 will be used. If this is greater than this, the value of M01 will be used. This M02 is determined by the summations of moment acting on the column plus an additional moment due to the NED times EI. The moment here will be the moments that you obtain from the frame analysis. And the NED times EI is meant for the moment caused by the imperfections of the member. The eccentricity EI Referring to the Euro code, it is determined by effective length divided by 400. Kindly note that EI and E nodes, they are different in terms of the formulas. EI is determined with respect to the effective length of the columns, while E naught is determined based on the size of the column. Try not to get confused with the eccentricities. With that, the larger value of M02 and the M min will be used as the MED. This MED will be substituted into the formula here and to be used within the column design chart. Now we look at the slender column. The main difference between the slender columns and the short column is there will be a second order moment caused by the buckling response of the columns. What you see from the diagram here, this diagram is totally identical to the diagram for the short columns. However, Due to the superpositions of the buckling response of the slender column, the design moments acting on the columns differ from the short columns. Within the slender columns, the second order moments acting in the columns differs. This is mainly due to the difference in terms of the brace and the unbrace conditions. Based on the slide that we have discussed previously, a brace structures normally have the situations of non sway, where the top and the bottom of the columns are always remain in line with an axis. This leads to a situation of negative moment at top and bottom of the columns. 
As for the embrace column, the top part of the columns is free from movement. This leads to accumulations of the moments at the top of the columns. Due to the differences in terms of the restraint conditions of the columns, the moment profile will be different for the brace and unbrace slender columns. Now we look into the diagrams for the brace slender columns. You know that the first diagram here is totally identical to the short columns. And on top of the moment here, there will be a second order moment caused due to the buckling of the brace column. This second order moment, based on the moment distributions profile here, it will be M2 here and 0.5 M2 at the top and bottom of the columns. The M2 is determined by multiplying MED times E2, where the E2 is related to the curvatures of the buckling of the columns. This can be referred from clause 5.8.8.2 number 3 in Eurocode 2. Now you have E0, EI and E2. They by definition are different. Special attentions are given on the eccentricity here. This E2 is a function of the curvature 1 per R and also the effective length square and a factor. The factor C here is considered to be equal to 10, which is close to the square of the pi. The effective length of the columns can be determined by one of the three methods outlined here. And the curvature 1 per r is a function of k r and k tot as well as 1 per r naught. Let us look at the 1 per r naught first. It is determined by dividing the design U strength of the steel with 0.45D. The design U strength of the steel is determined by the design U stress of the steel divided by the modulus of elasticity. The design U stress of the steel is actually determined by dividing the FYK with the partial factors of safety of the steel, which is 1.15. After divisions, you will obtain 0.87 FYK. Substitute the relevant value into the sections, you are able to determine the 1 per R naught. Now you need to determine the KR and K dot. These are the correction factors for the Asia loop and also for the creep. The formulas are given here. In the functions of NU, N and also N balance. The N represent the relative Asia force which is calculated by dividing the NED with the areas of the sections divided by the design concrete compression stress. As for the end balance, it will be equal to 0.4. It happens when the end is at the maximum moment resistance. The NU is determined by 1 plus omega. This is determined by dividing the AS times the design U stress of the steel divided by the area of the concrete divided by design concrete strength in compressions. Substitute the relevant value. The KR here needs to be less than 1.0. For more detail, you may refer to this clause in Eurocode 2. Now we look into the creep factor. It is determined from the equations of the creep 
as well as a factor beta. This beta is in the functions of SCK and also the slenderness ratio. The slenderness ratio is in the functions of LO per I, which has already been done when you do the classifications of the columns. Again, the crit factor should be greater than 1.0. Substitute the relevant value into the equations, you will get E2. The E2 to be multiplied with the Asian load of the columns, you will get M2. And for the moment, for the top and bottom of the columns, it will be half of the M2 calculated from the NED times E2. Based on the principle of superpositions, the summations of this will be equal to this, and summations of this will be equal to this. Taking this side as a positive while the other side as a negative, this will be the positive moment while this will be the negative moment. Based on the principle of superpositions, negative m01 minus 0.5 med you will get this. The negative moment here will pile up at the end of the day and there will be MN0E to be plus with the M2 which will give you M0E plus M2. The M0E is calculated from this formula which is the summations of 0.6 of M02 plus 0.4 of M01. X value needs to be greater than 0.4 M02. The M02 and the M01s are here, which is here. It is determined in the ratio of M02 and M01. Summations of this will give you the superpositions of M0E plus M2. Now we look into these regions. Theoretically, the positive moment minus the negative moment it should cancel out each other. However, for a more conservative calculations, we consider this as zero. With that, we are able to determine the most critical situations of the moment on top of the columns. If we cancel each other for these two, it may ultimately lead to zero moment here. And there is a possibility that the columns are under design. Now that we have obtained the curvatures of the moment here, the MED will be the maximum of any parts of the curvature as well as the minimum moment due to the construction tolerance. We have discussed about the minimum moment earlier on. Now the MED here it will be equal to M02 or M0E plus M2 or M01 plus 0.5 M2 and also M min. The larger value of all will be the MED. Next, we look into the embrace column. This is totally identical to the short columns. As the top part of the column is not restrained to the lateral movement, the second order moment will be M2. M2 is actually due to the MED times E2 as discussed previously for the braced slender columns. Applying the concept of superpositions, the summations of this will give you this and the summations of this will give you this. Therefore, this is actually M02 plus M2. Well, this is going to be M01 plus M2. The MED here 
it will be the largest of the two as well as the m min this m02 plus m2 doesn't necessarily represent this it is in fact representing the larger of these two value and what you see from the diagram here the m means always appears due to the construction tolerance regardless the classifications of the columns there will be second order moment depending on the restraint of the top of the columns the profile of the moments may be different and based on the principles or superpositions you are able to obtain the final moment the MED is in fact determined by the final moment profile for different types of moments